A top Chinese expert on COVID-19, Liang Wenyan, says the WHO's decision to downgrade the threat of the coronavirus comes at a time when the world has developed important knowledge of the virus and is better prepared for future outbreaks. Currently, around the globe, the number of infections, hospital admissions, and patients in ICUs continues to decline. Despite the fast mutation of the virus, its harm to people's health hasn't changed much, and many countries have strengthened their public health capacity. Liang says the change by the WHO will further boost the global recovery as the international exchanges are facilitated. The restrictions on international transportation, trade, and tourism will further be reduced. For China, it is also beneficial to economic and social development, as it will be more convenient for multilateral cooperation. Experts emphasize the adjustment does not mean the COVID-19 outbreak is over. And China has already established a multi-channel monitoring mechanism as one of the measures for future prevention. We've built a monitoring system in communities. Clinics and hospitals are reporting fever patients on a daily basis. We've selected some hospitals as pilots to conduct a PCR tests for patients with acute respiratory infections. We also pay close attention to schools and nursing homes. The WHO first declared COVID-19 a public health emergency and gave it the highest level of alert on January the 30th, 2020. Liang says ending the fixed status does not mean stopping prevention measures altogether. He says in the future, China will continue to protect the vulnerable groups, especially the seniors, and step up efforts to vaccinate them because the latter has proven effective in preventing severe illness and death. Hong Yue, CGTN, Beijing.